Welcome to Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that you need to work on. Okay, using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards, the Muse Tarot, Tallow, <laughs> and Shadow Healing. Okay, let's get into it here, Capricorn. Okay. If there's a quick shuffle, see what jumps out of anything. I feel like we need to do one more round. Ooh, almost. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Starting with this one came out first. Reverse disassociation. Capricorn. That's a big one to begin with. When we disassociate with something, my personal belief is usually because there's something that we don't want to feel. It could be too much for us, okay? And I feel like for you, Capricorn, that there's been a time where you have needed to dis disassociate yourself from a particular emotion okay <sighs> something else is just coming to me right now which is pretty interesting because I've never seen disassociation this way um, some of you have needed to disassociate yourself from another person okay um, and this reverse disassociation. Okay, so let's start with the first scenario here about the emotions, okay? Um, actually, no. I feel like Capricorn, both scenarios can be grouped into this because the second one about this being, um, you know, needing to disassociate from a person doesn't mean that you now need to become associated with them again necessarily. That's not the case. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, more so, it's about the emotions. Because if you have needed to disassociate yourself from a particular person, there will be, I imagine, negative emotions attached to that. Okay, and it could very well be that there's this impression um, that you had that all that was required was to separate yourself from this person. But it could potentially be that the emotions um, surrounding that may not have been dealt with fully. Okay, um, and I feel like this has caused you, in a sense, to live parts of your life in two different ways. It's sort of like living in two different worlds, if you like. Okay, it's... Um, It's, it's that Capricorn sort of like making out things a one way for you when in actual fact the truth is they're actually another way. And it's sort of like you have been going through life like this um, but there's no connection between the two worlds. Okay, and this is where it's important for you to find sort of like building a bridge in, in a sense between this world and the other world, okay? Let me just see if we get anything else for this. Um, tell me more about reverse disassociation for Capricorn, please. Because the thing is, it's like, if, if you can see in this card here, Here's the keyhole and here's the key, right? There's the key, there's the keyhole. And um, they are both meant to go together and you hold both. But because of the separation between these two worlds, you're unable to bring the key through to the other world to use it to unlock the door. And I do feel like for some of you Capricorn that there is a door 
available right there for you to walk through. But the key is in the other world. And it could be that that key is representing these unresolved emotions that you need to be addressing, okay, and actually working through. We have the Knight of Voices and the World Cosmos. Love that. I haven't had that card jump out from this deck before, but anyhow, Knight of Voices. It's really interesting because, again, there's these two different worlds. If you look at, this is the thing that is first jumping out to me here, is the two circles, right? This one's up in the, in the clouds, separated from the earth, yes? The ability to fly is here. Also, interestingly enough, the face is replaced by the world. Oh no, not in the entire face, sorry. But it's that third eye. There's something about needing to rise above to see things differently. Rise up above the situation to see things from a different perspective, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you that there may be some sort of denial going on about a particular situation. I'm just wondering if um, this is, it's really interesting because I'm getting like half messages and I feel like this is your energy, to be honest with you, um, because it's sort of like a glimpse, there's a glimpse, right? And I just wonder if for yourself, Capricorn, there's a glimpse into this particular world, um, but because of this disassociation, you're not fully able to immerse, you're not able to fully immerse yourself into this world that you're glimpsing into, if you like. And it's as though you really want it, but you actually don't know how to embrace it, in a sense. Yeah, anyway, let's have a look here. Okay, step into the unknown. This also jumped out when I was shuffling before. And here's the key again. Step into the unknown. You know, this could be to do with fear here, Capricorn, that you're too afraid to walk into this other world because it's so foreign to you. Okay, and you're disassociating yourself potentially from this. Hmm. Interesting how on both these cards, the um, the key is, do you notice here, the background is the same. The key is in the same um, background with these clouds. It's, yeah. And there's sort of, um, there's something that how I feel like has wounded you and, and you've covered up the wounds. Um, and, and pretty them up type of thing and made them look okay um, for not just yourself but everyone else around you um, because it's sort of like there's this belief that time heals everything and to be honest with you I don't believe that um, yes time makes it a little bit easier to deal with but it doesn't heal necessarily we still need to do the work okay and yeah there's something from the past that you are turning a blind eye to, I feel. Step into the unknown. One more card. We've got nine of voices here. Um, so this, it, this thing plays on your mind. It plays on your mind and it bugs you and it pops up. Um, and, and you try to brush it away and it's like, no, 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 go away. And you try to deal with it. Um, in in your own um, space so sort of up at night um, you know losing sleep over this thing you know and um, it's actually it, it's actually impacting you quite significantly and yet you still try to carry on just waiting for it to subside 
But the thing is that acknowledging it is going to help it subside a lot quicker. And I also want to say to you, Capricorn, you don't have to deal with it alone. I know you feel like you want to and that it would just be easier for you to do that, but you do not need to. Okay, we also have the five of voices here as well. Okay, this is another card that I haven't had jump out yet. So let me see here. Um, this disassociation that has taken place, it is just a perception. I don't really feel like it's actually, there, there's still some sort of link here, okay? And I don't feel like It's served you, oh, not now anyway, at some point it will have served you, but right now it's not. Right now there's an, a different approach that needs to be taken, okay? Um, there's this energy here of, whether this is you or another person, there's this energy here of sort of, It may not have even been you who created this disassociation between yourself and another person. It may have been another person, okay? Um, but anyhow, regardless, I feel like, because, okay, let me just tell you what I'm seeing here. There's these four people here, to me, it looks like they're meditating, okay? And they are doing things to improve their life. And move forward there is this one person over here who sort of has this energy of I don't need to do that I'm too good for that okay and but it's not actually helping them to reap any rewards because they're not actually growing on a personal level okay they're not evolving so whichever scenario fits you apply to you but know that if it is so it's sort of like seems as though the person who's not doing that meditation work for example thinks that they're better than everybody else because they are kind of like well I don't need to do that because I've got all this other stuff going on for me and who needs that but actually inside um they're a hot mess. And I mean that in a loving way. I don't mean that in a snarky way. But it's not working for them. And the, the, the reason they need all these external things um, going on for them is to replace what is actually missing inside of them. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look here, Cap Capricorn. Next card. Focus on higher truths. Focus on higher truths. And this coming through from this meditation, I love this. This is about you needing to silence. Go into this silence, right? And, and I feel like, honestly, I feel like I repeat this in so many readings about going into the silence. But it is necessary. It is absolutely necessary. Because it allows you to get in touch with your your inner being, your inner child, your higher self, your subconscious. It helps so many areas. It helps to bring those through because this human being that we are is only one aspect of ourselves. There are a lot of other aspects as to who we are. And focusing on higher truths is, um, is important and the interesting thing here when we have this this here right with the key here is the keyhole 
So it's like this person is walking blindly, not really sure where the keyhole is and just searching in this search for something. And it is the focusing on the higher truths that seems to be what this person is in search of. And this person I feel like is you. This doesn't mean religion necessarily. Look, it can, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean spirituality. But going into the silence and going within is a practice that would be beneficial for you in your everyday life. Okay? There are different um, things on YouTube that would be able to help you with that. Okay? So this, I feel, is really crucial. And with the um, the time timer here, the hourglass, this, I feel like, is saying it is time. It is time the right time, the exact time that you need to do this. Because this search, the search, you know, there's been this disassociation and there's been a journey from that. Um, and now there's another journey that needs to be travelled and, and this is part of it. Okay, so tell me more about focus on higher truths for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this. don't know what that is. That is upside down. See if anything else jumps out. Not yet. Justice. Justice. Getting this balance right. Getting things into balance. Yeah, see, I feel like this, again, is going into the silence, quietening your mind. Okay, knowing that, um, that this is going to lead to the truth, okay, of of who you are within, okay, this is going to help stabilize things for you, it's going to lead you in the right direction for you, okay, um, yes, I feel like also it's going to bring to you to mutual territory as well, Okay, so one more. Focus on higher truths for Capricorn, please. Give me one more card regarding that Capricorn. There we go. The star. Oh, I love this because, I love it because on this card here, this person is walking on this side of the bridge, right? But I feel like um, this this bridge is leading, like it's actually kind of a path that goes like this. This is what I feel, yeah? And, um, and when you get to that part, the star is what you arrive at. I absolutely love this. You know, this is going to give you faith. This is this renewal that you're looking at, you know, um, and maybe this is through this, you know, um, it could very well be a spiritual journey. Well, we are spiritual beings. So, you know, at the end of the day, this whole journey is spiritual, whether we realize it or not. But yeah, I feel like because this person here is in this meditation and they're connecting here, right? And then... It sort of like there's this realization that happens for you, okay? It's like, oh, I see the light now. I see everything so clearly where once you did not, okay? So let's have a look at the next card for you here for Capricorn. Oh, we've got two out here. So this one was first relinquish control. Yeah, cutting the cords, letting go of these things that do not serve you. Okay, um, there's something that you've been holding on to. Um, the, the, the thing is that this could also be um, about sometimes we can also give our power away, okay, by holding on to things um, and It may make you feel more powerful. It may make you feel like um, there's some sort of achievement. or well, not achievement. That's not the right word. But I want to give you an example, okay? And the example is that, you know, if someone hurts you, right, and you relay the story of how they've hurt you to 
maybe your friends, okay? And we move on maybe, for example, two years later and the story is still being told about how this particular per person two years ago hurt you, okay? What, what happens after that time is that we end up still giving this person the power, okay? They're still hurting us over and over and over again, right? Because the brain does not know that that experience has already been lived and that it's no longer been lived. Every time we tell the story in our brain, we relive the experience. In our bodies, we relive the experience. Our body does not know that we're not in that. We experience the same emotions and our body literally thinks we're still going through this experience. And so therefore, we continue to give our power to that person or to that experience. Okay, and, and sometimes we feel like this gives us a sense of power, okay, um, because we're there having, you know, kind of like muddying this person's name still, but what in fact, what in effect is happening is that we are the ones suffering. Okay, so it's, it's sort of like letting go of that right letting go of that so that it doesn't it doesn't keep us tied in there anymore okay <clears throat> Some, <clears throat> excuse me capcom sometimes we do that as a reminder so that we don't get caught out again by this person okay but the fact of the matter is that when we go into this when we when we focus on higher truths that gives us a different perception and it gives us something else to focus on. Okay, the ace of materials here. This relinquishing this control will allow you to look up and sit and, and start to experience the things that you're passionate about, the things that you love, okay, the things that you 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 want to aim towards. It's going to bring in a whole new beginning for you, okay, um, which you'll be able to immerse yourself in, something that is very, very healthy, because at the moment there is this unhealthy dynamic happening, okay. We have the page of voices as well. This, I feel, Capricorn, is about you putting on the glasses to see clearly, yeah, to sort of come away from these distractions that you've used in your life to help you through this time, it's time to come away from that now and go, okay, how do I want my life, What you know, to really start this new beginning for your life and what you want that to look like and make that happen for you, okay? We have experience rebirth. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes. And this, you know, for some of you who may have been through childhood trauma this could be about you going back through your life and actually in your mind when when I was talking before about what you know what is going on in your mind and the story that you're relaying um, causes your body to relive that experience if we were to go back and, and imagine a whole new life and a whole new path this is going to give our body a different experience, yes? And so this is something that you could potentially do to, to, give, to relieve your body, I feel, of what it is that you have been through. To give it to sort of because, you know, when you look at that neuroplasticity, we can... We can rewire our brains so that we experience something differently. You know, this is something that we are in control of, okay? And something that we can actually achieve. And that's not to minimize or go into denial about what has happened to us and not work through these things, not at all. But it's to give you an experience of, I wish my life had been like this. So then you can sort of, Go into this meditative state and imagine what that would have been like for you to give yourself a different experience, right? 
to, to, to increase this dopamine level so that you get more experiences like that. Okay, we have the four of inspiration here, and this could be something that you do with a group of trusted people. You know, those around you who have your back to go through and do that with them. Wow, that's pretty cool. Awakening. Oh, I love this. This is amazing, Capricorn. Awakening. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is about you awakening something within you that um, your heart's desire, your heart's desire, you know, this, this new beginning here of what it is that you want to live out in your life, of what it is that you want to achieve. This is about you finding a way to do this, to see things clearly, to bring through this inspiration, right, to come up to to start traveling another path a path that you can create give me one more card the capricorn here please i actually want it to flip out yep there it is access clear thinking oh, i love this capricorn see this here i feel like there's been this maze, there's been this maze in your mind and it's been very difficult for you to see things clearly. Um, and I feel as though this person here, it's so funny because I see this card so differently a lot, um, but this person is raveling up all these thoughts. It's sort of like, do you know what? Let's just ravel all this up. Let's just wind it all up. Let's wind it all up, get it into a ball, and we can actually start releasing something new. Because it's sort of like this is done. We don't need to, we don't, it, it's sort of like the, this was laid down, and it was sort of laid down once upon a time for you to be able to find your way home, a bit like Hansel and Gretel, right? And so you've been following this sort of ball of string along for a really, really, really long time. And it's just creating the same experience for you over and over and over. And I don't feel that you need this anymore. You don't need this. And so this person here, I think it is just taking a moment to sort of like wind it all up and go, you know, I just don't want to lift it like that anymore. I actually want to take a different path and a different journey. And in order for me to do that, I need to, you know, just, just, yeah, I need to stop doing what I'm doing. Rattle it up and then you can find another path through the maze. And I feel like the maze represents your life. Okay, because I'm seeing this maze here and I'm seeing this maze up here and I feel like this is raveling this up so that you can get to a new plan. Okay, you can draw out the path in the maze and where you want to go and not just hope for the best type of thing, right? And so this is, you know, if things might not go exactly as you planned and that's okay, all right? But this is still, you know, about you going into this whole new journey. Okay, so tell me more about Access Clear Thinking. Or Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this. Excellent. We have the Muse of Inspiration. Yeah, look at this. I love this. This is, the, this is what this end result will be of this journey. Right, this is absolutely so exciting, Capricorn. And we had the hang muse, the hanged muse here. Okay, and um, and this is what this taking this time to to wind everything up and and bring it all back. And this is also aspects of yourself, Capricorn, bringing everything that you've experienced, bringing all those aspects back to yourself for healing and starting on this new journey. You know, you've got. 
such a um, such a promising future ahead of you, and um, but it's it's entirely up to you how you want to live that out. It's up to you to create that. Okay, so we're gonna get three cards from the shadow healing here as well. So three cards for Capricorn, please. But you know, taking that time, looking um, for th at things from a different perspective. Okay, before you go ahead. All right, so yeah, so we've got distracted, we've got suffering, and one more card for Capricorn, there it is, and we've got frustration. Okay, so the first one, distracted. Okay, so in your effort to be hyper vigilant, the most important thing of all just slipped straight past you. Whilst you were distracted by other less significant things. And this reminds me of this uh, disassociation card. So if you reverse the disassociation, right, you will be less distracted. Okay? Awesome. Suffering. Thinking that no one knows the pain you are enduring is just another form of self-pity. Every soul experiences pain. It's what we do with that pain that defines our future. Love it. Yes. And you see, this person is reeling it all back in to heal it, to move forward. Right? Frustration. Last card here. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything. Oh, and sorry. Restart from the very beginning and scrap anything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. Wow, that's perfect. I love how these cards just finish off the reading so perfectly. It's pretty amazing. You can't like you can't make that up, right? You really can't. So yeah. Um, Capricorn, please along this journey be very very kind and loving and gentle to yourself okay because you need it all right and yeah take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye